Welcome to Allie's Attic, where you never know what kind of surprise you'll find in my attic. I'm your host, Allie, and today my surprise is a woman who does absolutely everything. She's a singer, songwriter, composer, sound design artist, playwright, actress, and dancer, Elena Marrow. Hi! <laughs> Hi. Hi, Holly. Thanks for having me. Oh, thanks for coming. How are you today? I'm really good, actually. I'm looking at the Hollywood sign. I'm living my dream and couldn't be any happier. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Now, tell us a bit about yourself, Elena. I know you're from, you're from Italy. And right. Right, yeah. right now you're in Los Angeles, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A little trip. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, basic, basically, um, well, long story short, I I was all settled. I had my life in Italy, my house, my career as an English teacher. And I had been working in the music industry, you know, on the side for, for many years. And at one point, it just didn't feel right anymore. I was starting getting frustrated because I wanted music to be my whole life, my 100% of my time, I mean, so... It was like a black hole started growing inside of me, in my soul. Mm -hmm. And I started waking up in the morning crying. Oh. And so overnight, I decided I needed money to come here because well, I had this dream to become a film composer. So I knew I had to come here to L.A. and... I planned a good school for it, and so, but I needed money, and then one morning, what happens is, I wake up, and I realize I actually have the money, which is my house. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so I decided, I decided to sell the house, with all my friends and family freaking out and telling me, why are you crazy? you got this big, beautiful house, you live like a queen. And my answer to that was, well, you know what? The day I die, I won't take the house with me, but all my regrets will be there. So I have to do this. Exactly. So I told the house I was lucky enough to sell it to see at a good price, and also to very nice people who still follow my journey and who I can call friends. Mm -hmm. And it, like in, in a week, I had, I told my house, I was accepted at Musicians Institute here in Hollywood, which is an awesome place to be if you really, really want to learn from the best teachers who really are in the music industry, who really know their stuff, and who really can give you the tools you need. That's awesome. Uh, to make it on your own. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that's what happened. I came here on the 8th of September, and I remember being on a plane, and keeping telling me, oh, my God, so I'm actually doing it. And yeah. yeah, it's happening. And... Yeah. That moment I realized I was just taking a leap of faith. Just taking a leap of faith because I didn't know anything else apart from the fact that I needed to do that. Well, so, it's a very brave I've been move. Here. Yeah. And, yeah, you know what? A lot of people tell me, oh, you, you are very brave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't feel like that, or actually, I just, uh, I think it was the right time, and I really had to do it. <laughs> so, and it was the best decision I've ever made, because mm -hmm. um, I, I'll be graduating at the end of June. Uh, I'm studying, I learned so many things I couldn't even imagine. 
like in, in the past two months. Mm-hmm. And this is actually the land of opportunity. And if you really work hard, you can see things happening. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that, that's it, basically. Now I'm here. I'm graduating. I'll, and I'll be here for, for a little bit more, probably, if anything goes well. <laughs> well, that's good. Now, you're also the author of the lyrics to Today, Say No to Child Labor, um, music by Emma yeah. Olivero. It's a pop song against child labor, um, part of the world campaign. Um, and due to that campaign, you were in Los Angeles on December in 2013 and January of 2014, where you also performed yeah. live venues at the Hard Rock Cafe in Hollywood. Yeah, that, 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 that was interesting. That, that was an interesting evening. Um, yeah, um, the author of the music of the song and I got the chance to perform there. And um, writing that, that song, those lyrics, uh, was really, really uh, life-changing and intense experience because what people don't know is that Child labor is all around us. Mm-hmm. It's in everything we buy. Mm-hmm. We never think about it like everyday stuff like chocolate, coffee, or cloth. And if we're not careful, uh, there might be a child labor involved. Mm-hmm. So I did a lot of research on, on the topic and discovered lots of stuff. And, uh, and it, as I said, it was really intense and life changes, life changes because that was the moment I decided that I want my music to be m- meaningful. Yeah. You know, just not, I love, I, I want to make music, uh, not just for fun, but I want to make music with a message. To people because I really can I really think that as a as artist we have these gifts and we are up to put it into the best shoes we can. Mm-hmm. So for example now I want to become a film composer and that I want to score movies or films that have a meaning mm-hmm. and I wrote a script, and my graduation project at the Musicians Institute will be based on it. Okay. It was originally a, a theater script, and so it's about a woman and about her story, and it's the occasion to speak about uh, racial, gender, social equality and mm-hmm. equal rights. Mm-hmm. And I'm really glad that I'll get the chance to graduate and to score um, the entry this project. And, and what also happened, yeah, and so um, it's a good start, you know, in the direction of, uh, as I say, making uh, meaningful music for projects <laughs> you can. You're dead. You're at school still, aren't you? <laughs> you can. Sorry? You're still at school. You can hear everybody in the background. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I I couldn't find a quiet place. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's okay. No, that's okay. It's kind of funny. <laughs> it's the hustle and bustle of Hollywood. You see. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I get all all these. It's good because you're in Hollywood. You work hard because you have to, mm-hmm. and I love it. Mm-hmm. I love working hard, and you're, that you're surrounded by happy people, having fun, tourists from all over, from all around the world, and so yeah, it's, it's the best for me today. <laughs> well, and everybody sounds happy in the background now. Um, not only. All the things that I said. You are also a former ballet dancer, a lead singer for an orchestra in 16 months for a European tour, and studio and TV vocalist, long experienced lead singer for R&B bands across Italy. 
Now, also, um, you've had a long time experience as vocal coach in studio recording sessions. Now, let's talk about the instruments you play. Like, Elena, you work harder than anybody I know. You have accomplished so much. Um, you play the guitar, the ukulele, keyboards, and you compose, write lyrics, plays, arrange, and produce your songs, music, and sound effects all yourself. Um, yeah, well, actually, it's part of the, the trend right now, because, as you know, the music industry, it, making it into the music industry is becoming harder and harder. Mm -hmm. So, a good way to make it is to become a DIY musician. Mm -hmm. So, I started learning all, all the stuff on my own, so it's not like I... An excellent performer, but I can I can do hundred percent everything on my track. Mm -hmm. And yeah, what I needed was to just perfection my tools and my knowledge in music production, you know, and and specifically in film scoring because scoring to pictures is a very very particular kind of work mm -hmm. and style of composing mm -hmm. and so yeah and so now I I can say it's time to put all these things into action and make it work. <laughs> well that's awesome. Now I know like you were talking about your collaboration with the director related to a script that you wrote. We're not going to talk about it yeah. until you're going to come back on and then we're going to talk about it. <laughs> Because, oh, okay, yeah. that would be a pleasure. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Yeah, definitely. Even because it will mean it will mean it's happening. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll definitely talk about it once it's out and everybody knows about it because I think it's absolutely wonderful. Um, now, if you had any advice, although you did give us some, but if you had any more advice to give any new artist, Selena, what would it be? Oh well, I I can only speak based on my experience, but um, I think as an artist, that there are a few things you have to consider. First of all, you have to be honest and true to yourself and ask yourself a question, do I really want this 100% plus one? Because I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Mm -hmm. On the contrary, it's going to be really hard. So, first advice is just ask yourself these questions, these questions and be honest. Exactly. The second advice is, as it's going to be really hard, you're going to be, you're going, and you're an artist and you're a sensitive and deep, deep person, there are going to be many, many ups and downs. Mm -hmm. You think Good time, great time, bad time, awful time. Well, the, the only thing I can say is they're just, they're not forever. Nothing is forever, but your motivation, your focus, just that needs to be forever. Mm -hmm. Set your goals, keep your motivation, never give up, and all the other stuff. And also people, I'm sorry to say, but you have to learn not to get too attached to people. Mm -hmm. uh, just be aware that if you want to be an artist, your life and your artist life are going to be the same. So you can allow yourself to give up not even for five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you definitely haven't. Now, if um, everybody wants to stay updated with your journey, um, through your music and films, they can find you on your website, which is going to be up on my website. You're also on Facebook, and I'm going to give the last name for Facebook and for YouTube and Reverb Nation because it's different than web your website and Twitter. Um, for your Facebook, it's Elena. I'm going to say your last name wrong, right? Mar how do you say your last name? <laughs> Maro. Okay. 
Um, and it's spelled M A R O R E A L. I'm going to put all my, all the links to you up on my website so people can find you. I think you're amazing. Not only with everything that you've done and your journey so far, you're just a sweet person. And I absolutely love talking to you. <laughs> and, um, like, thank you so much for coming on my show and finding the time to come on my show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. It, it's been a blast. Uh, you're really nice. You're wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, and like I said, when everything is released, you're going to come back on and we're going to talk about it because it's very exciting for me. So I can't even imagine what it's like for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like non sleeping Okay. <laughs> well, we'll be talking to you again. And... um Thank you for joining me on Allie's Attic. Keep checking my website because you never know what kind of surprises you'll find in my attic. Cheers.